2.5 Model Direct Variation. Talking to people whose hat is bigger than you are. It's just common knowledge on campus that the size of someone's hat is directly proportional to how cool they are. Therefore, he is too cool for you. And this little sign right here is there for those three little dots. I use it all the time. Direct variation between x and y means that y equals a times x, where a is just a constant. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means y varies directly with x. a, which is our constant, is called the constant of variation. And the slope in this example, well, we don't have y equals mx plus b. We have y equals ax. What do you think the slope would be? A. Whatever is out in front of that x, that's a first degree power. And the y-intercept would be? Zero. Because mm -hmm. y equals ax, if we had it in y equals, if we thought about y equals mx plus b notation, that means that our m is a. And our b is just 0, because this is plus 0. In other words, all of the graphs of this form are going to go through the point 0, 0, the origin. Write and graph a direct variation equation that has 5, 10 as a solution. Well, let's first use our formula, y equals a times x, and plug in this xy value that we're given. 10 equals a times 5, divide by 5, divide by 5, a is going to be equal to 2, so y equals 2x. And now we'll graph that, and we also know that it has to go through 0, 0, so we'll start with that. Right, and then this means that our slope is 2, two. so we go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. Okay, an application of what we're doing. Hooke's law states that the distance d a spring stretches varies directly with the force f that is applied to it. So I guess first we should figure out what the independent and dependent variables are. Okay, so does the distance it stretches depend on the force, or does the force depend on the distance it stretches? The distance it stretches depends on the force exerted. So the distance depends on the force that is being applied. So the force will be our x-coordinate, our independent variable, and the distance is the dependent variable. So suppose a string stretches 15 inches when a force of 9 pounds is applied. Well, that would mean that the force is our x-coordinate. Our point is 9, 15 y equals ax, 15 equals a times 9, divide both sides by 9, and we get a equals, the top and the bottom we can divide by 3, 5 thirds. In other words, y equals a x. And you know, I might want to use the appropriate variables here, so I could also have written d equals 5 thirds f. Predict the distance that the spring will stretch when a force of 6 pounds is applied. So I want to know the distance when the force is 6 pounds. That is going to be 5 thirds times 6, which equals 10. 10 what? Inches. Dimensions of five rectangles, each with an area of 24 square feet, are given. Tell whether L and W show direct variation. If so, write an equation that relates the following quantities. Okay, I like to look at the equation y equals ax and solve for a. 
in order to see if this follows that pattern. So we would divide by x, divide by x, and a equals y over x. Okay, we solved for that a you were looking for. And we know a can't be different for different ordered pairs. a has to be the same value all the way across. Therefore, if we look at the y value, which would be the width divided by the length, we should get the same value in every ordered pair. So what I think you're trying to say is that if the ratio of the width to the length is always the same, if the ratio of the y to the x is always the same, that means that I do have direct variation. Correct. Okay, so what is this ratio? I'm going to just put that as a separate column then. So I'm going to do y over x, in this case w over x. So that would be 24 here. That would be 12 divided by 2 is? 6. Do I even have to go any further? I do not. I don't because already I know that this is not always the same. This is equal to my A. It should be the same all the way across. And it's not, so my answer is no. And that's it for this lesson. Bye.